चाय चाय इज वॉट इज चाय लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन डाउन बिलो ऑल्सो डोंट फॉर्गेट टू ड्रिंक योर वॉटर हैश टैग स्टे हाइड्रेटेड एनी वे हे गाइज हर शेयर एंड वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नोलोब वन प्लस रिसेंटली रिलीज द डेवलपर प्रिव्यू ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ओ एस इलेवन एंड लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव हैड मिक्सड फीलिंग्स अबाउट दिस न्यू सॉफ्टवेयर फ्रॉम वन प्लस सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट इंस्टॉल ऑक्सीजन ओ एस इलेवन ऑन माई वन प्लस एट एंड देन गिव माई ओपिनियंस अबाउट दिस न्यू यू आई फ्रॉम वन प्लस आई हैव बिन यूजिंग ऑक्सीजन ओ एस इलेवन ऑन माई वन प्लस एट एंड आई हैव सम थॉट्स अबाउट इट सो लेट्स बिगिन Right I hope that you like the intro a huge shout out to Mr Anurag Joshi for the intro he is my intern and he does one hell of a job with all the intros on this channel so huge shout out to Anurag make sure to follow him on Twitter links will be available in the description box below now let's go ahead and have a look at Oxygen OS 11 on the OnePlus 8 All right let's do this this is OnePlus 8 with Oxygen OS 11 installed on it Now let me quickly go ahead and turn on the screen recording so that you guys can have a better look at the changes and the UI. So here we go. Screen recording is now on and you guys can have a better look. So Oxygen OS 11 brings in a lot of visual changes to the whole system. It is more like one UI and less like stock Android. I don't know why OnePlus has done this, but the inspiration is clearly coming from Samsung devices and one UI. Yes, I'm going to call it inspiration and not copying because inspiration is the right word. Anyway, let's talk about a couple of new features and number 1 is always on display. So always on display was absent on previous Oxygen OS versions and finally we have a very good always on display available over here. So you can select from a bunch of different options that you like and there is this new option called as insight which is basically developed in collaboration with Parson School of Design it will basically take insights or data from your phone and will show you that data in a very good way so this new always on display is really cool and i've set it to insight and it works really well so big fat thumbs up for always on display next up is the gallery application So the gallery app has been changed completely. There are these new pages. One is called Photos. The next one is Collections, which is basically your albums, and the third one is Explore. So this is the new page, the Explore page. It basically will create a story or memory from your past photos, which we have seen with iOS devices and some other Android devices out there. So you can click on a memory and you can click Play. and it will basically create a memory from your photos with some music and everything which is really good if you are a nostalgic person if you get nostalgic easily then yeah you are going to love this feature so anyway that is memories or stories i really like this feature and it is a welcome upgrade so the overall gallery app has been changed and it looks more minimal the design language is more simple and i do like it now talking about applications the stock apps have been changed completely from the ground up for example the weather application it has been changed completely and i do like this new weather application it shows the data in a better way it makes use of that beautiful amoled display and it just looks amazing so i'm not complaining about the weather app i do like it very much Apart from that the dialer and messaging apps have also been changed completely now i cannot show you more of the phone application or the dialer application because it has a lot of contact information of my friends and myself so yeah that's personal information but yeah the dialer app has been changed completely and the same goes for messaging app now i don't like this messaging icon like this is a very bad icon whoever designed this icon should not be given a raise or should not be allowed to make an icon you know this is not a good icon but anyway moving on the next thing is dark mode so we finally have a dark mode toggle right over here in the quick settings and you can quickly turn on dark mode from here itself dark mode blends in better with the whole ui now and looks stunning so dark mode is excellent it's been improved with oxygen os 
and works like a charm. Now all the OnePlus devices do come with AMOLED screens and that's why having this better dark mode makes sense and as I said works like a charm. Alright what else? So there is this new live wallpaper, there's this new one wallpaper in Oxygen OS 11. Maybe they'll add new wallpapers in the final build. This is the developer preview. So there's this new live wallpaper which will change according to the time of the day and it has this animation when you swipe and all. So yeah, it's a good live wallpaper but I'm hoping that they will add more in the future. Apart from this, there are new features to Zen mode. So Zen mode will help you be away from your phone for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes or something like that to enjoy the little things in your life. So Zen mode is excellent. You can also share Zen mode with your friends now. So all of you can put down your phones and actually talk to each other because that is more important than being in your phones 24 seven. I hate people who are on the phone while you are with someone. Please don't do that. Please don't be that guy or girl. Like, please. Also, one more thing. The accent color by default is red and black. Obviously, you can change the accent color by going into customization and changing the accent color. But by default, it is red and black. Maybe OnePlus is trying to implement their brand colors into the UI now, which honestly is a smart thing to do. Talking about customization, there is this new font called as OnePlus Sans. So this is the new font, OnePlus Sans. I think this font is really good. It has good readability. But if you don't like this font, then you can go to Noto Sans, which is the default Android 11 font. So you can go with that and that option is available. So overall, Oxygen OS does not add that many new features in the true sense. It's more of a design overhaul. And now it is trying to be more like one UI. Maybe OnePlus is trying to move away from stock Android and I don't know how I feel about that. I have mixed feelings. On the one hand, I am happy that it's a design refresh and we get to try something new. But on the other hand, I am a little bit sad that they're moving away from stock Android because that was their number one USP, like the number one unique selling proposition of OnePlus phones was the stock Android point. So I don't know how exactly I feel about this. Maybe OnePlus will not go any further and if that happens, then I'll be okay with it. But if they go any further with the changes, then that is going to be a problem. As far as the changes are limited to this stage, I'll be okay with it. Oh, welcome back. That was Oxygen OS 11 on my OnePlus 8. And as I mentioned, I do not mind this new design refresh if and only if they don't go any further. If they go any further and change the design more, then that is going to be a problem for me. Right now, it is at a sweet spot where everything is new and I actually do like it. Like as in when I keep using it, I'm pretty sure I like it even better. So it's not a deal breaker for me right now, but it can be a deal breaker if OnePlus continues this you know, trend of changing things and making them, you know, not stock Android. You guys let me know your thoughts about Oxygen OS 11 in the comment section down below. Do you like it, love it, hate it, or just don't care about it? Whatever it is, please let me know about that in the comment section down below. Anyway, that's been it. My name is Harish Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.